okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous videos we have handled our ad user address okay and now in this video we will work on our monitor and cloudinary okay uh, because you know that we have to upload our product images and also the avatar or the profile picture of the user on cloudinary now in this video i will set up my cloudinary and also i will set up my monitor all right um, so for that we have to install two packages first of all monitor and then cloudinary so i will uh, install that package npm i multer and cloudinary dash just save install these packages okay so packages are installed successfully i will restart my server and now let's write our code so first of all i go to my backend in the backend and in the utils i create a new file let's call it multer.js in which i will write the configurations for the multer i will import here multer uh, from monitor and then um, I have to type here const upload okay and that I will call here monitor and on the monitor I have to pass some options so in here first of all I have to pass in the storage okay and now for the storage I will create another object here so const storage and that is going to be monitor dot disk storage okay i will create here a disk storage and in that i have to pass some options first of all the destination of the file so destination is going to be i type here function request and then that file and then the callback so i will call it cb which is the callback and then in that i will pass in here in the callback null for the error and then uh, the destination so destination is going to be public slash uploads okay so we have to create a new folder in the uh, public create a new folder uploads okay and then after destination we have to also set up here the file name okay we will make the file name unique and to do that i will simply type here function in that i will have access to the request and then the file and then the callback okay so in that i can simply pass in here in the callback first of all null and now for the file name you can see that i have to pass in here the file name so file name i will add the current date and then the file original name okay so let me show you here new date dot now date okay so it will get the current date i will use here dot to iso string okay so it will convert the current date into iso format and then we will concatenate the original file name so i type here plus and let's also actually add here dash and then plus the file original name so that is going to be file dot original name okay so in this way it will make that file name or uh, unique so now we have here our storage ready we will simply pass the storage here okay i will pass that storage here and then we, we will type here the limits okay now in the limits i will type here the file size um you can change that according to your needs i will choose here 1204 multiply by 1024 okay so this is going to be maximum size of the file and then i have to type here the file filters okay i want to filter out the files because i only want to upload the images so i have to apply here the file filters and for that i will simply type here const file filter i will make a function here in which i have access to the request file and then the callback okay then that i will simply check that if file dot mime type is equal to image slash jpeg okay in the same way i have other uh, formats that is jpeg okay so i will copy that from here and i put that here and then one more uh, that is going to be jpg and then the png okay if it if if the format are these then i will simply pass in here in the callback null for the error and then true okay because we we will allow these files jpeg png and uh, jpg else we have to throw the error so in the callback i will simply type here uh, the error okay so i type here error that is going to be um un 
exported file format upload only jpg slash uh, jpg jpeg jpg or png okay and then i will pass in here false because this, these are no correct files so i will type here false so now we have our file filter ready here i will simply use that uh, here okay and then i have to export this upload we export default because we have to use that uh, as a middleware in our route that is going to be upload okay so this is the configuration of our melter we simply create our disk storage okay uh, the procedure is that we will simply first of all get the file from the user okay and then we will store that file in this folder in the public slash uh, where it is public slash uploads okay so after uploading the image from this folder we will uh, basically upload it to cloudinary and then we will delete that file from the uploads directory as well okay so we will create our disk storage and then we create our file filters and then the we will pass those options in the monitor simply save it from here and now that is it for the monitor now we have to set up the cloudinary configurations okay so what i will do is i will go to the backend in the utils create a new file let's call it cloudinary.js so cloudinary.js okay that is cloudinary now that i will simply import here the cloudinary from cloudinary okay so we will import that and we have to set up the api keys for the cloudinary config so cloudinary dot config in that i have to pass in here first of all the uh, cloud name okay and i will show you in a minute that how we can get the cloud name right now i will simply type here process dot env dot cloud underscore name and then i will set here api key for the cloudinary that is going to be uh, then api secret api underscore secret okay so i will copy that from here put that here and here and that is going to be cloudinary underscore api underscore key okay and then the cloudinary underscore uh, api secret okay so we will set up these uh, in the config and then we will create a function here so const and i will get these api keys in a minute okay and then uploads in that we will pass in here the file that we want to upload and then the folder in which we want to upload our images okay because we have different folders like products and avatars so while calling this function we will simply pass in here the file and then the folder in which we want to upload our images okay so now we have a file and folder now we can simply upload that okay and for that i will use here a promise so return i hope that you know the basics of promise so return new promise now that i will have my resolve okay and then the reject we know that there are two conditions resolve and reject in a promise all right and then in that i will simply upload my image so cloudinary dot uploader dot upload okay and then i have to pass in here first of all the file okay so we will pass in here the file that we will pass here and after the file we have to pass in here the callback so result okay after getting the result or you can say that after uploading the result we will simply resolve this promise because our image is now uploaded so we will resolve our promise here all right now in the resolve i will simply pass in here the two values public underscore id okay because uh, in the response in the result we will have an object that contains public id the id of that image and then the url of that image we have to store both and there are other options as well but we only need here public id and then the uh, url of that image so result dot public id okay and then we have here the url so url that is going to be result dot url so after uploading the image it will resolve the promise all right and one more we also have to specify the folder in here uh, the options 
so i will simply type here resource type resource underscore type that is going to be auto okay and then the folder so folder is going to be oops that folder that we will pass in here okay simply save it and this is our uploads folder we simply have to export from here export the uploads and then the cloudinary with these uh, config uh, with these config configuration api keys okay we will simply create a promise here and then uh, we will upload our image and now once the image is uploaded we will simply resolve our promise pass in here the public id and then the url of that image and we will specify here our folder as well and then we will simply export from here the uploads that we will use to upload our images and then the cloudinary that we also have to use uh, with these configs simply save it so now we have successfully uh, set up the multer and cloudinary now we just have to go to the cloudinary.com and get these api keys so after creating your account on cloudinary on the dashboard you will get your cloud name and then the api key and then the api secret you have to add all these in your uh, next.config.js i copy that from here and go back in here then i will specify here those values first of all the cloud name okay so cloud underscore name and that is going to be this okay in the same way i will add both other values cloudinary api key and then the cloudinary api secret okay now i will add that here so i copy the this from here go back and i put that here and i will add the api secret after finishing this video so in this way you have to add all these values in the next.config.js and after that we have our multer and cloudinary ready in my next video i will uh, upload user avatar on the cloudinary server so that's the end of this video if you have any question you can post that in the comment section i will definitely reply there and also you can get the source code of this video in the description of this video okay so i will see you in the next lecture